Hello, and thanks for joining today. My name is Jeff Demuth. I'm a AWS Solution Architect. Been with AWS for about eight years, based out of Austin, Texas, and I'm on our geospatial specialty team. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up and configure uh, an ArcGIS Pro instance on EC2, an RDS Postgres database, and how to enable it as an enterprise geodatabase. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into it. So if you've watched any of my previous videos, I like to do everything through Cloud Shell. To launch Cloud Shell, we can search for it here in the search bar, or we can just click this icon here. Give that a second to load up. So now this button up here kind of pops it open and in a small sub window in the main one. I like to open it up into its own tab. If you navigate through the search bar, uh, it'll open it up in a new tab like this. All right, and then to start, I'm just going to set up a couple um, roles here, IAM roles, create our ArcGIS key file so that we can create our EC2 instance. So this is for demonstration purposes. This is an admin role. Uh, again, do not do this in production. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, just for demonstration purposes, I'm just using kind of a quick and simple get things built role. You don't really need much permissions for this. I, I think really you probably only need SSM. Um, but down the road with ArcGIS Pro, you'd want to have access to, to S3, um, potentially EFS, FSX, network file share services. All right, next. I've got a script here. So we're going to launch the EC2 ArcGIS Pro instance. Really, this is the command here that's going to launch it. And then I'm going to pass in a PowerShell script. That PowerShell script is going to uh, pull down the ArcGIS Pro binaries, install them automatically, so that when we log into this EC2 instance, ArcGIS Pro is going to be there. I've also got Cloud Builder on here, so it, it pre-installs Cloud Builder. We'll go ahead and run these commands. And I'm going to pause the video for a second. Uh, you'll have to provide your own URL to get the binaries. You can download them from my Esri. Uh, but let me go ahead and copy this command in. Okay. And so you can see now I've got my PowerShell script in there. And we'll go ahead and launch our EC2 instance. So I'm just passing in the AMI. This is a Windows 2022 Amazon machine image. We'll use an M6A extra large. Um, the G4DN, which is our graphics NVIDIA instances, are really good here too, the G4DN instances. So like a G4DN XL. Uh, we'll give it an instance profile. Give it our, our key pair we created and give it a little bit extra storage, 150 gigs of storage. And then the next thing I'm going to do is launch an RDS Postgres instance. So kind of a similar command, actually a little bit simpler. So AWS, RDS, create database instance. We give it a name. This is our R6G Graviton instance. This is nice to be able to use these our custom ARM Graviton processors for the database engine. Pick the engine, Postgres, uh, username and password, give it 150 gigs of storage and a default database name. 
So with that PowerShell script to bootstrap the EC2 instance install ArcGIS Pro, et cetera, that'll probably take about 30 minutes to run. Uh, the database comes up pretty quick. It'll probably come up in about 10 minutes. I'll go ahead and pause the video while those are spinning up. But before I do that, just some benefits really of, of running ArcGIS Pro in the cloud, either on EC2 or on one of our virtual desktop services like AppStream or Workspaces, is you get a really big performance impact of just having ArcGIS Pro sitting next to your ArcGIS Enterprise environment. You've got low latency network connections, single digit millisecond latency. You've got large network pipes that can be you know, 5 gig, 10 gig, 20 gig, you know, however many um, you've provisioned. You know, the different EC2 instances have different network throughput. And then the other um, huge advantage is some of our data sets on our open data registry are Sentinel data, Landsat, NAEP, these huge imagery data sets, petabytes of, of imagery all sitting on AWS, your ArcGIS Pro instance is now sitting right next to, to these large data sets. So the performance you'll see pulling in that imagery is um, you know, it's significant. Um, but with that, we'll go ahead and, and pause for about 20 minutes for this, this instance to come, come back up. All right, and I'm back. So I think this was right at about the 35 minute mark. It should be done. We can see here we've got our EC2 instance running, M6A extra large. We can see our RDS instance. RDS instance is here as well. And that is running and available. Go back to EC2. All right, so to connect to this instance, we'll just right click, click connect, RDP. Do Fleet Manager. We'll have to grab the key pair. So that was one of the commands we ran: the ArcGIS create or AWS key pair create key pair command that, that created this ArcGIS key.pem file. So I'm just going to cat that file. I'm going to copy it to a Notepad and then save it to my desktop so that I can upload it into the browser. All right, so I've got my key uploaded. We'll click Connect. And we can see ArcGIS. And I've got that Cloud Builder on here, and I've also got ArcGIS Pro. And we'll just create a map, my project. Let everything load up for the first time here. And 
Now we can right click on databases, new database connection. We'll hop back over to our Cloud Shell. I've got a little command that we can use to get our DNS record for the database. And I'll upload all these commands to uh, another one of my ArcGIS hub sites, so you'll, you'll have them and I'll post it in the comments or the video description. Postgres. And that default database we created. And there we go. We've got a database connected. So right off the bat, we can start doing um, some stuff with this database. It's pretty simple to let you create a feature class um, table view. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is upgrade it to an enterprise geo database. And I've got a, a little script to do that as well. And um, also, actually, we need to install PostGIS. So that'll help. <laughs> so I'd like to use the, oh, where'd it go? the Python console. I've got a script we can run here. Uh, the first thing you have to do is, now the Python interpreter takes a second to load up here. And um, we'll want to grab the path to this SDE file that gets created. I'll just save that to a notepad somewhere. And here's the script I'm going to run. It's pretty straightforward, so I put that path in here. We're going to use ArcPy. Um, create extension PostGIS is what's going to load PostGIS. We're going to create an SDE user uh, schema and grant usage on that schema. So let me go ahead and paste that in here. And then we can see true. So all these commands ran. So the next thing we're going to have to do is update our connection properties. We're going to switch to that SDE user that we just created. Make sure you've got save username and password on here. Oh, one second. Oh, I forgot I had an exclamation point at the end of this one. There we go. All right, so now we're connected as the user, the SDE user. All right, and now we're ready to enable our Enterprise Geo database. Click on our authorization file. Navigate. I went ahead and downloaded my authorization file. This is a key code file that can be found on the ArcGIS Enterprise environment. So we'll select that and then we'll click Run. And this one runs pretty quick, so this will run in like a minute. So XML support, geodatabase tables, schema. All right, we'll close this and refresh. So 
So now when we go to new, we can see we've got all the advanced enterprise geo database capabilities. So feature data set, if you needed to create thing, things like network data sets for the network analyst. Um, I think probably the, the biggest one here is the mosaic for mosaic in the imagery. Also relationship classes. And that's it. So pretty, pretty simple to spin up the EC2 instance, install ArcGIS Pro, spin up the RDS instance. Um, I am a fan of the ArcGIS or the ArcPy to actually run my SQL commands against the database. It's nice that it's all um, just kind of in the ArcGIS Pro console here. And um, that's it. Again, if you've got any questions or would like to see any other videos, happy to Happy to make these to help out and feel free to comment with additional questions or anything you'd like to see and you know, like and subscribe. Thanks everyone.